Down there, the food is what kind of the coffee bean here? Starbucks coming out with their earnings, uh, but they had weaker than expected sales growth in the last quarter. Uh, that came, that report coming after the bell. Same store sales rising 2% in the U.S., but that missed the estimates. Melissa Armo, owner of the Stock Swish, joins us now with more. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good, good. You know, we talk so much about Starbucks and the food business. They're not selling chicken, but they certainly <laughs> didn't sell as much coffee as they had hoped in the no. quarter. What happened? Well, for some reason, they keep falling short of analyst expectations. For the last five quarters, they've done that. Of course, they're showing sales, but they're just not meeting analyst expectations. So the stock is down this morning, traded around 60 bucks last night, and now fell around $57. It's around this morning. So the stock could possibly fall today. It really hasn't made new highs since June of 2017, which isn't, isn't that far off the highs. It was at 64 was the previous highs. But right. considering the bullish market we're in, that's not that great. They cite low holiday sales. I guess not enough people were drinking the pumpkin spices, which personally I love. The, well, but, I, I had a big old Christmas tree frappuccino. I have, I have no problem admitting that, Melissa. Know, but at the delicious. same time, you know, this is a company that put a lot of money on coming up with whether it was expanding in China, building these new, you know, fancy roasteries, these high end, you know, they're, they're spending money on real estate. I mean, maybe they've stretched a little too far. Maybe the growth needs to come back a little bit, the expansion. It could be that. I mean, as you know, living in New York, there's a Starbucks every 25 feet, it seems. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mind that. <laughs> hey, real quick, let's go to Intel before I let you go. Let's talk about this because Intel actually, you know, despite the security issues, it seems that Wall Street was pretty, pretty pleased with what they had to, to, to say in their quarterly report. Stocks up about 20% over uh, the last year. So a strong performer. What would you make of Intel's numbers? Well, i got to be honest with you. I'm not crazy about the stock. I'm not bullish on this stock until it hits over 48. And that's not that far away. This morning was around 45. We'll see where we open. But considering, again, we're in such a bullish market, the last time Intel made brand new all-time highs was 18 years ago, in the year 2000. So that's a long time. I mean, they made up a lot of ground in 2017. I'll give the stock that. But it's still not a buy, looking at the chart, looking at the technicals. And they've had some security flaws, which came out. So they're trying to, you know, fix those. But the bottom line is the stock is just not performing as well as it should be. You look at some of their customers like Microsoft, which is flying, flying in this market. Yeah, Melissa Armo, great perspective as always. Love having you on in the morning. Thank you for being here. Thanks so much. Starbucks needs to bring back the tuxedo latte. That, that was, was good. I know. We had a little taste. You can kind of get one still. All right, Ooh. we're getting in trouble. We got to get. I you know. To break. I know. <laughs> After getting heat for rejection.